Oh yeah, it's time. 2004 Kenmore 80 series at my grandma's. Time to do a heavy duty cycle video. And this room is absolutely tiny. Brought my detergent, so I'll get what I can get with the tripod. Got some birthmarks since last time. Same machine. Agitator dogs working. Model and serial number. This is an 80 series, so it has most of the features. Missing the infinite water level, the other temperature options, and the other spin speeds, but it has pretty much everything else. In the dryer, it's electric. Um, let's see, I think down there somewhere is the plug. And the dryers, serial number, the light's burned out. It's been burned out for years. There's the dryer, dryer model and washer. Oh my god, the dryer model and serial. So yeah. Ah, that's a common problem with these. It does this. All right, I'm going to get this loaded up with my clothes. And we'll start washing. All right, folks, this is the best view I can get for you. I, I, I don't know what to tell you right now. This room is so incredibly tiny and claustrophobic. This is, this is the best view you're going to get. Um, load it up. I think the tub is a little smaller than the one on my Maytag. I'm not really sure, though. So, first settings... What we're going to do, since you can see the control panel when it's open, we're going to do extra or large, cold, uh, I don't think the ATC is going to, I mean it's cold, what can you fuck up with the ATC? So, by the way, this is super capacity plus, I think there was a king capacity, which was like 3 cubic feet, this was like 2.8, and then I don't know, something like that. One rinse is fine, and then of course, fast, fast, right there. And then, being that this is a 2004, it does not have the clicky knob, but we're going to do... Let's actually use permanent press. I'm going to do the 10-minute cycle right there. All right. Set that. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. All right. Come to this side of the room. Start it. And then on this machine, you don't have to engage the lid switch until you spin, but I'm just going to do it now. going to use my same detergent. I brought some detergent so I wouldn't have to use hers. I don't feasibly understand. Oh, you know what? What is it? Okay, I was going to say, maybe we won't use the... Oh, I don't want that. We're going to switch it just to cold, then. Cold, cold, no ATC, because I don't want that stupid. I just realized now what it is. I don't want that. Add some fabric softener without spilling it. Probably will spill it, but whatever. Alright, and that would be the Kenmore. Alright, we'll let it wash now.
you have it. You asked for years. It's been almost... Oh. Wait, not. There it was. There was the final click. No, it wasn't. <laughs> this thing clicked so many times. There it is. You have asked now for almost three years for a fast, fast agitation. This is my answer. Here you go. Damn, that took a while. That takes longer than my machine does. It's because of the neutral grain, but... Uh, that noise you heard in the beginning, the vroom, vroom, vroom. Apparently, she had this fucking thing, which I don't even know what this is. It was sitting between the washer and the cabinet, the built-in cabinet, and it was leaning on the washer, so it was going... I thought it was something in the machine. No, no, it wasn't. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the dryer because it's a match set just quickly, but yeah, there's the washer portion. All right, everything is loaded up in there. I figured I'd show you. Someone probably wants to see it. Oh, she doesn't even have any detergent. Oh, yeah, she does. She likes Arm & Hammer, but there's the detergent she has. And then she has bleach and spray and wash and an old-ass bottle of Downy. And in here, probably some dryer sheets. Yep. These are new. What do these smell like? Basically, knockoff bounce. And then there's some CFLs and some incandescent lights that I've begged her to let me have. But yeah, everything's in there. So I love this, by the way, because what you can do with stuff is you can go to put it in. You can do this. Or like, you know, it's you don't have to worry about stuff getting on the floor. So you put it in like this. It's like you can use it like a shelf. I love that. Close it. Also an 80 series, like a sh Oh, we need to check the lint filter. Clean. Always love the lint filters up here. 80 series again. Um, signal here. Just the on-off button, no adjustable signal. Three temperatures. We're going to use low. Um, I find it interesting that normal is marked as medium high. There's low, medium, high, high. On my machine, high is marked as normal, but we're going to use low. And then she likes to use time dry, which I don't understand, but... Do you hear the timer go if you do this? No, you don't. Oh, I'm turning it backwards. Oh, no. Set it to the dot. And start. I love the way these Kenmore dryers sound, these Whirlpool Kenmore ones from this era. It's a nice hum. But yeah, that's going to do it for the Kenmore 80 series. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see, and follow me on the web, wix.com slash theelevatorworld slash fans. Bye-bye.